guys, so this morning I am doing a kind of like a church natural, hold on, this is just good, uh, sorry. Anyways, so today I am doing a church natural look type of a thing. Um, so yeah, I already primed my face and now I'm just going to go in with my foundation and a little bit of contour after I close this. Anyways, you, what? Oh. Okay, anyways, so I'm going in with the Fit Me Porefesh, or Matte, Matt, the Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation in the shade 110. And I'm just going to take my brush on the outer rims of this and kind of just go outwards with it because I use this as a concealer and highlighter. And I'm just going to go that way. And then on the chin, and underneath of my cheekbone. So, let me just grab some from in the lid, because I'm almost out of this. Now I'm going to go down my forehead, and then down my nose, and I'm going to bring this up. Now I'm going to take, let's take this out, girl. okay, now I'm going to be taking my like $5 um, contour thing from Amazon, and it's actually really good, because you know how much I've used already, but I'm going to be taking this shade right here, just for a more natural contour, and I'm going to be bringing this right onto my cheekbone and up. And I have a message, but I'm going to wait. They can wait if they want to talk to me. <laughs> I'm also going to be taking this right underneath of the mouth. And down the side of the nose. And in the front. And I'm also just going to bring this on the forehead just for more definition. And then I'm going to bring it on the outer. I'm trying to like make a faster YouTube video than the last time because it was so long and my camera stopped filming so I had to like wait and then film again but whatever nah, nah. I'm gonna bring it on the outer edges of my nose and right here just to make everything flow together and then I'm taking this Sonia something I don't know in the shade 03 poppy and this is what the thingy looks like and it's kind of like a, and then I'm just going to dab it, and then do the same thing on the other side, and then wipe the other parts of it off. And now I'm going to take my eyelid primer and just put this on my eyes so that way I can blend it all together. I'm also just going to dot it right underneath of my eye right here just to brighten it up a little bit more. Now going back into the brush that I was just using, I'm going to blend everything back out and I'm going to start from the chin and, and, ooh, and under my neck <laughs> and just bring it down. And I'm going to make sure to blend my foundation onto my ear just because the shade is a little bit light for me at the moment. And I'm just kind of dabbing this and sliding and just like you would with a beauty blender.
Now I'm going to take my beauty blender, and this is actually dry because this beauty blender has a different texture than the other ones. It's kind of, um, it's like an off-brand one, so this one you probably should use dry, but either way. I'm going to take this back over the nose just to soak up the extra product. Now going back with this brush, I'm just going to swipe with it right over my eyelid primer. And then I'm going to blend it right, I'm going to take this mirror and blend. I have pink up here. Let's just kind of blend that out. And I'm going to take my pressed powder and set my under eye area immediately. I'm going to take a stubble brush for this today and just kind of dab it over because I'm going to bake right over the top of this. And I'm going to set my nose as well. And my forehead right here. So basically like the T-zone area because that's where I bake. And now I'm going to be taking my Great Value Cornstarch. And I'm just going to dip my brush in. And then shake it off on the inside so it doesn't get everywhere. I can pick up any of it. There we go. And then I'm just going to put this right underneath my eyes just to ensure that I do not crease today. Forgot the shake off part, I guess. I'm just going to take the product off my nose. And then I'm going to also bring this underneath of my jawbone. Not my jawbone, onto my jawbone, I guess you could say. And then up here. And now I'm just gonna like wipe it. I just made it worse on my shirt. Okay. <laughs> now I'm gonna move on to my eyeshadow. So I'm gonna take this Avon one and it is the Paradise Green palette. Where's my fluffy brush? Here we go. And there's a mirror. Okay. I'm really bad at makeup videos, you guys. So, okay, okay, don't get ahead of yourself. I'm going to be taking this orange shade right here, and I'm going to pack this onto my brush, and bring it all over my lid. And then in this palette, I will be taking this shade right here. I'm going to pack this onto my brush as well. And then just go on the outer corners and crease and just be kind of messy with it and just kind of swirl it around until it's nicely blended. This is probably as natural as I will ever get with my makeup, you guys. Because I don't like natural makeup. I like to make wearing makeup worth it because I'm spending all this time doing it, you know what I mean? So I'm taking this e.l.f. eyeshadow palette. And I'm going in with this shade right here. And let me tell you, this shade was sent from Jesus. 
so good. I love this shade. And I'm just taking that below the shade that I just put on and right in the crease. I don't know if I showed you guys, so I'm just going to show you again. It's this one right here. Now taking my pencil brush, wherever I put it, there it is. I'm just going to do a white pop of color. And I'm going to take this yellowy gold shade. And I'm going to pop this right in the inner corner underneath of my eye. So in the inner corner and then underneath my eye, and I'm going to drag it out to the center. Now I'm going to go in with this darker gold shade right here, and I just use this color. Okay, so I'm going to take this shade right here. And I'm going to go from the center outwards. And I'm going to blend that into the brown colors. I always get pigment and stuff like into my contact. I don't like it at all, but whatever. Now I'm going to go back in with this dark, darky brown shade, and I'm just going to go right on the end, and I'm going to blend that into, oh, why did I, I just did that, you guys. Alright, well, I have to fix that. Do you see what I just did? It's so too low. And I'm going to click on that now. Okay, that looks a lot better. I'm just going to add some more of that shade right on the outer corner just to blend a little bit better. I'm gonna take the leftover product and just blend on the bottom. And now for eyeliner, this is just so simple today. And I'm using Avon's Super Extended Precise Eyeliner. And I'm just gonna go on the top with this, I'm not sure. I'm just going to do a normal eyeliner today. I'm not going to wing it. So that's what that looks like. Now to mimic on the other side, I'm just going to start from the outer corners. Mm. Hello eyeliner. This stuff kind of, I don't, it's not sharp enough of a point to do a wing with this liner, so. And now I'm going back to my Marc Jacobs black liner. I'm just gonna put 
put that in my tight line. I don't like to stretch open my eye because I'm like super afraid of wrinkles, so I just like, <laughs> you know what I mean? And then, I think, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just take a paintbrush that I had to tape because it fell off. It looks like that. And I'm going to take, what color do I want to take underneath my eye? Take this color right here. And just drag that all the way in very close to my waterline. Just to deepen everything. I have like, whatever, I'll fix it after it dries. <laughs> now I'm going to be taking my eyelash conditioner. And just apply it like you would your mascara. And while that dries, I'm going to do my eyebrows. So I'm taking Avon's Blonde B04 color. And I'm just going to fill these into my natural shape. One eyebrow done. is a blessing to have tiny eyebrows because you can just basically just draw them into your liking so this side is too thick so I'm just gonna take my finger and do that and then fill it back in These don't even look remotely the same. They do on camera though, because it's not like picking up. Okay, that's fine. Now I'm going to be taking some waterproof mascara and popping that on. Now to swipe off my... Yes, Dad! Yes! You almost ready? Yes. Okay, I'm taking a shower. I'll be ready to go in 15 minutes. Okay. Okay, sorry. Um... I know he's taking a shower. He always does. <laughs> okay. So now, I'm gonna go in with my Kabuki brush and my pressed powder. I'm just on this right here. And I'm just gonna pat that over 
everywhere except for my contour that I already did. I'm gonna bring it down my neck and I'm gonna have to fix this eyebrow. It's not, I'm not enjoying this one. Okay. Now that that's done, I'm taking my bronzer thingy from e.l.f. again, and I'm going to take a brush that I have in my little bag thing, and I'm going to just take this one and this one, and then just go back over my contour with it. Then I'm taking some blush from e.l.f. and it's this one, it's like right here, it's kind of breaking because it's really used and then I'm just gonna make sure that I look like a clown because I like big because my cheekbones look awesome if I do this. So. Now I'm going to be taking some mint chapstick and then my lip gloss, Super Balm Moisturizing Gloss from Clinique, what it looks like, and then I'm just going to gloss my lips, you guys. And this is the final look to go to church. And I'm going to finish this eyebrow off camera, but thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!